Got the Stroid in this back corner. This is one of the aluminum bodied ones. If this is aluminum, why is there sparks? I have the bed of a Ford F-150 here. This is one of the aluminum bodied ones. Got destroyed in this back corner, so it's gonna get a new outer panel. It gets a new tailgate. I have the new outer panel right here. Then it also gets this inner piece, which you can't really see right here, but I'll show you guys that when I get this thing cut apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this outer panel off. So I've had lots of people ask me if this is aluminum, why is there sparks? Because aluminum doesn't spark. These are actually these self-piercing rivets, which they put these panels together with, are actually steel. That's what you're seeing spark. It's the self-piercing rivet. It's not the aluminum, because aluminum does not spark. And I've had lots of people ask that. So that's why you see sparks, but this is an aluminum panel. So I didn't even realize it, but we also have a new wheelhouse because it's torn up right here in this corner. Also, these two wheelhouse extensions. So I'm gonna get those cut off as well now. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna sit this bedside on roughly just to make sure it's meeting up with that wheelhouse properly. And it looks like it's sitting perfectly flush like it's supposed to.
I got this wheelhouse all rivet bonded in. I'm going to put this heat lamp on it to get that glue to set up faster. And I'm going to go ahead and start prepping out the bedside in the meantime. So this is a sound deadening pad on the inside of the old bedside. I just have generic pads. They also call them Q-pads. So I'm gonna cut a piece just to reproduce that sound pad there. Just helps with road noise. It keeps the panel from making that tinning type of noise. If you picture like a piece of flat sheet metal, then I use the heat lamp to kind of warm these up. They stick a lot better and are more flexible if they're warm. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and fit this bedside up again and make sure it's lining up with this corner over here. And it looks like it's sitting nice and flush just like it's supposed to. So now I'm gonna go ahead and drill my holes for my blind rivets and get this piece prepped out and get it rivet bonded on as well. I am going to go ahead and fit this bedside up one final time. And this time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fit the tailgate. Make sure the tailgate is fitting properly as well.
Now I'll show you guys a little trick I do to make sure the front side of this bed is the same. I actually exit out. So I go that direction, then I flip it, and I go to the same spot on this side, and you can see it's almost perfect. It's not an exact measurement, but it tells you this is very close to where the cab corner is going to be whenever the bed's on the truck. And I've done these this way many, many times, and it works great every time. So I know this is right where it's supposed to be. All right, it's going on for good this time. Now I have these wheelhouse extensions that go in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in as well. All right, I just about have this one wrapped up. I'm gonna go ahead and take this upstairs to our paint department and let them get it prepped and painted and I'm gonna move on to my next one.